My Non-Dual Experience, a trip report by Curator, posted to the 5MEO DMT forums, May 28th, 2019. 5MEO DMT helped me have the most sublime human experience I've encountered up to this moment. This is not an endorsement or suggestion to do it though. The following is only my experience. More than a year, my journey through life has been in a pursuit to realise healing from a tragedy no parent should have to endure. My desire was to experience the sacred in such a way that would restore my faith in life and inspire me to keep living it happily. When I started, a little over a year ago, I didn't know smoking the crystallised venom of an animal was even a thing, let alone might produce a difference in point of view that would forever change the way I think and feel about and navigate in life. That said, it was such a short experience, a very big one, but lasting only 10 minutes. Add another 10 minutes for gently reintegrating into my body, and enjoying the sensation makes it about 20 minutes total. I did exactly as my guide told me to do. He explained for some time what I might expect during the experience, how it might help if things got too intense, and even how to draw the smoke from the water pipe, given his years of personal experience, and of tending others. He told me to do nothing if I encountered anything, to just let it happen and be as still and relaxed and open as I can. As I inhaled all I could hold of the smoke from the pipe, I released the pipe into his hands and deliberately lay my head back on the pillow at the end of the mat. As soon as I did this, a massive sensation of the deepest relaxation I've ever felt came over me. My body exhaled and sighed as it was too much effort to hold the breath in any longer. The sense of me or I began to fall away. A humming sound or sensation, not loud or soft, was present, and there was an awareness of geometric shapes and lines whisking past the mind's eye, as if being sucked into a tunnel and picking up speed. There may have been a slight sense of fear, but from that moment in memory, there was only becoming aware of being in a place of absolutely pure, brilliant white. I can't say it was light, but I will call it that, since there seemed to be no origin or point of beginning or direction or end. It was all around, and the point of reference was from something like within. There was nothing. No feelings, no thoughts, no sound. Anything. Yet. There was a sense of perfect contentment. I must have been on my way back, since I started to notice my hands and arms. I lifted them up and saw nothing more than silhouettes, and now my eyes are feeling like they are wide open. As I look at this white, I suddenly inhale as if seeing the most magnificent thing I have ever gazed upon. In my periphery my hands looked abnormal, like they had fewer fingers than they were longer. I made no effort to look closer, but continued to gaze at the centre. The sensation seemed like awe. You could say I gasped, but softer and slower, with wonder and surprise. The kind of wonder a child would have opening a present never imagined receiving, but being so grateful upon opening you could see that this was an experience of a new sense of joy, deeper than anything the child had ever felt before. Gratitude and joy were all that existed now. As I perceived my hands, which didn't feel like my hands at all, but I felt a part of them surrounded in an orb of light that was hardly distinguishable by an almost imperceptible line defining the orb. It was like balancing the orb in the middle of the hands. As I moved them like a movement in Tai Chi, I inhaled in wonder again, as if I just became aware that this was the universe or earth itself. It is all light, and it is being loved on and held in the space of love, since it is love itself, beyond understanding. This is what causes this phenomenon to occur and be sustained. That was my sense of understanding. Nothing mattered, yet it is all loved, beyond understanding, which makes it all possible and acceptable. I was in this state of bliss for the remainder of my time. I felt nothing but infinite joy and gratitude, and then love itself moved through me, 
causing my body to weep gently as I continued to stay with this light as long as I could. The moment I noticed being hooked by any emotion or thought, I would simply and gently bring my awareness back to the light again, and would feel or notice the blissful state. I was calm and happy. I began to become aware of my guide, and feeling so moved, I reached for his hand in a gesture of thanks. I gently squeezed his hand, belly giggled, held it long enough for him to know that all was well, and released it, placing my arm back on the floor with my palms up. He'd been quietly at my side the entire time, a perfect shepherd. I felt a deep and profound sense of love and appreciation for him. Shortly after this, I sensed him move on to the kitchen. He knew I was safe and started to prepare our meal. I was experiencing the greatest sense of ecstasy my body could tolerate, and wept gently, all the while keeping my focus in on the white. My thoughts were few, and I found myself just noticing and appreciating. My breath was relaxed and deep, and I felt a bliss beyond anything I've ever experienced prior. There were no entities present, there was no thought, and as for emotional states, what I think I was experiencing was the awareness of these, but not getting attached to anything in particular. This was glory. This was beauty. And the essence I sensed was that this is life, and it is on purpose, and that is all it needs to be. It was the simplest of ideas, that life itself is the only purpose. I thought that this must be heaven and wished it could last, but I knew I was re-entering the normal state of being, and gently touched my face with my fingers. They were cool, and when I did, I had the sense that I was alive, and I felt a new sense of gratitude for my own life. It was invigorating, and I felt more alive than ever. Again, gratitude. Again, joy. A belly laughed from deep within, as I write this, it makes me smile and chuckle. I'm happy to believe that what I experienced might be what it's like after this body breathes no more. I think I got what I wanted from this, and then some. I gave a big smile and a chuckle. This was the most beautiful experience I've ever had so far in this body. But I must leave a disclaimer. 5 amino DMT is not for everyone, and my experience may not be typical. This is not like my mushroom or ayahuasca experiences whatsoever. I'd not been able to reach a point of separation from the ego in those experiences. They come on slower, and for me, there's always been a point of reference from my ego going deeper, and then a resistance. In this experience though, the opposite seemed true. When I fully inhaled, there was no turning back in any way. Once I felt it come on, there was no time for bargaining. I was already gone. I guess you could liken it to hiking up a mountain and summiting after the climb, ingesting ayahuasca or mushrooms. But this, this was like being flown to the summit blindfolded first, and then becoming aware when at the summit. Then after, it was a matter of riding the descent smoothly. That's kind of what it was like for me anyway. I also think what added to my experience was that as a result of 22 years of practicing letting go of my ego, as well as meditation practices, emotional cathartic work, ordeal processes, sensory deprivation, some decent awareness of Eastern thought and belief and practice, and more than a few psychedelic experiences which have been intentional. That stated though, I might have just been lucky. But, maybe most important was my guide. I cannot say enough about his expertise and love really, and thoughtfulness. I think he would do it for free if he didn't have any expenses, and now I know why. My god. If I'd only known earlier in my life this kind of experience were possible. I am positive that his long personal experience with this substance and his experience guiding others is the other main reason I had this type of experience. From vetting appropriate clients, this method is not for everyone, to preparation as to set and setting, an amount to use and delivery system, which all help make this experience possible. If you do decide this is for you, please invest the time in researching about it, and please find yourself a guide.